All right, let's take a look at what we have here. We're back with an Arduino Uno again. And all I have in it right now is the Blink Pin 13 routine, which is connected to this photovoltaic optocoupler. And we have two P-channel MOSFETs, and the circuit would work the same with N-channel if you just reverse the polarity. And as you can see, I'm blinking the LED on and off. This is a bi-directional output. Uh, you can probably switch AC. Uh, I'm sure you can switch AC with it. But there is no polarity like you have a normal MOSFET circuit that has to be connected a particular way. In addition, there is complete electrical isolation between the output circuit and the uh, Arduino itself. Very easy to connect. Took me about two minutes to wire the circuit up. Very easy to do. So we're going to look at the schematic on this and plenty of other things as well. All right, based on the video that you saw earlier, my main discussion here is going to be photovoltaic optocouplers and particularly the VOM1271, which I bought several off of eBay. You see it here, it is a four pin SOP device. So you need to get an adapter board if you're gonna use one of these things. I'm pretty good at soldering, so I managed to get it on this thing without burning it up. <coughs> and I've tested it to use um, insulated gate bipolar transistor that's what it's operating here and it also worked on these two MOSFETs you see up here in this corner they're power MOSFETs one strange thing about this and it might be because of the way the circuits were laid out is I have to keep the power supply in this case I was operating it with an Arduino Uno I have to keep its power supply separate from the output supply or it just doesn't work. Strange, but they shouldn't be tied into each other anyway. That's not what they're designed to do. So let's take a closer look at this type of device. The device is pictured here. You have your usual infrared LED emitter, but what you have here is a string of photodiodes. They're wired up in series. I mean, they produce about a probably a half a volt each. Note something that any PN junction, silicon PN junction, will actually act as a miniature solar cell if you can expose it to light. But in this case, these photodiodes are optimized for producing a voltage. And what makes this different from ones I've used before is the turnoff circuitry is internal. So I can switch on the MOSFET or whatever I'm driving, and I don't need any external components at all. I just connect it from uh, gate to source. I don't need an uh, external power supply, nothing. It supplies both the voltage and the turnoff circuit. All right, here's the VOM1271 connected to an in-channel MOSFET. The plus goes to the gate, the minus goes to source, and that's it. You don't need any gate bleeder resistors, nothing. It's all internal, and it works the same way on different types of MOSFETs or IGBTs. If you note here, uh, it will work with P-channel MOSFETs as well. You just simply reverse. Just make sure you put the positive on the source and the negative on the gate. Otherwise, this is you, you can't get much simpler than this. This is a very easy way to uh, control a MOSFET. How hard these are to find, I'm not sure. I didn't have much of a problem. So keep, but there are other devices like that out there, I'm sure. All right, here's the VOM1271 again, connected to two MOSFETs. 
a 2N7000. They're rated at 200 milliamps at 60 volts. Both gates are tied together and go to positive. To the both source connections are tied together and can go to the negative. And the output is taken from A to B. It's from drain to drain. Here is the out, here is the internals on the 2N7000s that I used. It has a built-in flywheel diode, which doesn't interfere with this at all. So, and this works quite well. You could call it a relay, but you could also call it an AC switch. So that's some of the uses for the VOM1271. Um, I'll look at a separate video on making a power AC switch or relay that's be bidirectional will work on AC or DC using this idea here. Thanks for listening. Visit my website at www.bristolwatch.com.